Hi, I'm Ken Baker, president of Medai College. I want to congratulate every Medai College student, but today we're reaching out special for our first generation college students. When you're a first generation college student, it means that you have a network of folks who believe in you and believe in the value of a college education, an opportunity that they never were able to take advantage of. My parents don't have a college degree, which makes me a first generation college student as well. Remember that as a first generation Madai College graduate, you will have earned your parents, those folks you list on your FAFSA, a free college tuition to Madai College. So it's about you, it's definitely about you, getting you to that finish line of graduation, and then working on those folks and getting them to the same place. It is a great day to be in that room. Being first gen means legacy. Um, it is an opportunity for me to be able to soar to my highest heights and also give access um, to my, not only myself but to my children. Um, it means economic access. It means um, looking at generational poverty. It looks like healthcare access. It looks like opportunity and possibility. Um, being first gen means to me I guess really it's been the thing that has shaped my whole entire life. Um, it's, I, I sit in a seat of being proud that I'm the first person to graduate from college and it makes my family very proud as well. Being a first gen student really helped to broaden my perspective in terms of what the world offered and what I could ultimately become if I just harnessed and focused these God-given skills and talents that I had to be able to impact my family and my community and in ways that would leave it better than I found it. It's almost as if people don't expect much of you, especially people who have been from uh, families or communities that have that and have their generational, their legacies almost, but I think that just makes us cooler and uh, more stand out because we can handle it because we know what it's like to struggle and we're doing it without the benefits of nepotism. It, it kind of made me feel like there wasn't anything I couldn't do. Um, that everything was open for me, everything's on the table. I have all the options that anybody else has and um, anything that I've ever thought about doing, definitely educationally, I feel like it's all open to me. It means that I've been able to be there for my family in ways that I wouldn't have been able to, like financially, if um, my career wasn't successful. So I feel like that's a big part of that, but I also feel like the other piece of that is that I hope that I've been a role model for like my younger siblings and my cousins, my nieces and nephews, and I've seen how them being able to go on and get their college degrees has been able to help them out in terms of their families. Uh, it's made me feel welcome, um, especially as a, a black male going to a predominantly white female school because uh, it's a private school and it's mostly vet type students. But um, yeah, it's made me feel welcome. Um, it's made me feel comfortable to share my experiences. Um, I think it definitely gonna motivate my nieces and nephews and I have a lot of them um, to go to college because their parents didn't go to college and my sisters and brothers didn't and my brother who like two years older than me, he not in college either. So they don't really see it, but now that they see me doing it, I think that gives them motivation to know that they could do it also. Uh, if I finish college, my brothers and sisters will probably want to do it because they look up to me a lot. Like anything I'll be doing, they want to do bad or good. So I pay attention to that. Cousins too. Uh, Say Yes Scholarship has impacted me greatly. Um, it's given me the opportunity to actually go to college. Uh, it's pretty much one of the main reasons why I'm here. <laughs> College was like a dream too far for me. Like I, I was like, I, I don't, I don't go to college because I don't want to have uh, loans and stuff. So, and then when I found out about the scholarships and the, you know, financial ed, it kind of like, you know, I was able to like dream big again. You know, like have faith in myself because I could not possibly pay all that myself. So it's um, it was good. It made me happy actually. The Saya scholarship, I remember when I was in middle school and high school and at first I didn't really know what Say Yes was, nor did I know that 
being, being, a, being an immigrant here, I did not know college was expensive. So when I find out about Say Yes and that I was eligible for Say Yes, it actually took some weight off, off of me. I, when the teacher told me, oh, Say Yes can help you with your education and they can help you pay for it, and it's a great resource for you to continue your college journey. I would say always ask for help, un unequivocally. You may not always know the answer. In fact, there's probably going to be a lot of times that you don't know the answer. But if you keep asking for help, eventually somebody's going to know the answer. Um, and that's how you succeed. Realize that it's more than just getting a degree that you are creating and rounding and just getting knowledge and learning more about the world in general, not just getting a degree. A piece of advice that I would give students is understanding that obstacles are there to build strength so that you can climb higher. Um, that you need to pursue your dreams like your life depends on it because it does and take advantage of every opportunity that is out there. Just make sure that your presence is felt throughout this college. Wherever you go, whatever classroom you walk into, whatever conference or uh, Zoom call you participate in, Make sure that your presence is felt. Hashtag celebrate first gen. 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 Hashtag celebrate first gen.